Lawrence Bradford was born on July the 24th, 1944 in Washington, D.C. to Melvin and Florine Bradford. Raised in the northwest section of D.C., attended St. Augustine's Elementary School, Francis Junior High School, and Western High School, where his talents were on full display as a star basketball player before graduating with honors. Dancing was just in my blood, and we all danced, and then it also became kind of a competitive thing in the neighborhood. Everybody was trying to do something to do a little better. And you know, guys, we're going to compete. Uh, even if we spitting, we want to see who spits the furthest. <laughs> we're going to make a competition out of it. So we made a competition out of dance, and, we, and that's what we did. Lawrence Bradford's competitive nature and spirit as a dancer became evident, winning award after award and appearing in major dance competitions across the United States. Brad, in my opinion, to this day, is the best that I've ever seen in leading a female. And all the dances. We did the bird land. We did the walk. We did the skate. We did the bop. We did drops. He used to, in fact, his nickname for me was Lead Bottom. Because in doing some of the dips, if you dropped your butt, you went to the floor. <laughs> so it took. <laughs> It took a while for I mastered that. But As a Pied Piper of D.C. hand dance, Mr. Bradford's contribution to the art form is undeniable. Due to his contribution to the dance, people who had never danced before became practitioners of Lawrence Bradford's smooth and easy dance style. And the seniors of D.C. are still able to let their light shine. Because of Mr. Lawrence Bradford, the man, the myth, and the legend of DC Hand Dance. You might have to be an